I am here with John and Molly, the farmers. Guys, <laughs> how are you? So, so, so yeah. why, why did you guys start off with the eggs? Why does this feel like the eggs is such a great starter, starter for everybody? Because I feel like at Era One, I'm always talking about, well, at least try the eggs. You don't understand. These yeah. eggs are beyond. What, what makes them beyond? I mean, really, that goes back to um, why we even started farming in the first place. We, um, I was a traditional food chef, which is going back to how people maintained health and longevity a long time ago. Uh, with different techniques in the kitchen and starting with really great food from people that were treating the soils well. Uh -huh. And as I try to, to source that type of food to cook with, it's really hard to find. And we really could not find eggs grown in the, or raised in the way that we wanted to eat it. And so we used to dream and talk about, what if we just started raising some chickens and um, farming a little bit with eggs and it grew into where we are today, it grew this. which is 214 acres and way more complicated than we were ever imagining. Well, because it gets complicated because you're looking for that perfect harmony, right? Perfect right. relationship that yeah. where everything's on the farm because everybody's talking about sustainability and they don't really know what that means. What does that, what does that mean for the, for just let's just take the chicken, the, the eggs. Mm -hmm. To have a sustainable farm and create this beautiful egg, isn't sustainability part of that equation? Yeah. yeah, I think like when you start wanting a good tasting egg, you start to realize that you need a chicken to live in an environment that has access to a very diverse diet. And so then you start to realize you need a really healthy ecosystem. And so that's kind of what we've had to do is sort of build out an entire ecosystem based on the way we want the food to taste. Ugh. You know, because all of that mineralization of the egg that you taste comes yeah. from the soil. It comes from the diverse diet uh -huh. of the different, you know, plants and grasses and bugs that they're eating, you know, yeah. and that that's really what you're tasting. You're tasting that mineralization. So when you talk about like what is sustainable, I think that's kind of almost like an old word. It's yeah. like almost like organic. Like that's an old word now. Yeah. Sustainable, I think the new word really is more regenerative. regenerative. Yeah, right? regenerative. Because, yep. you know, sustainable is a very complicated sort of term yeah. that has a sort of confusing set of consequences because we forget that the sustainable part of like an animal's health and the farmer's health is not really in that model of sustainability. It's usually talking about the actual land, the sustainability of the land. Mm -hmm. So regenerative really includes all of those things, how the farmer and the animals and the land itself can all sort of coexist in a holistic sort of way. I literally have to tell people now, uh, you can't reserve them. You're like everybody else. <laughs> it's fair and you just come when I know I feel it, bad it that here. we can't produce more. And then I know you can't produce more and why is that? There's an answer for that, right? Yeah, there is, there is. And like it's so easy because it was the first thing that was really successful for us to want to like start to like ramp that up. Mm -hmm. But the problem is you the reason they are good is because they're we're not overproducing the eggs. The chickens have access to things that they need. Mm -hmm. so the environment is so healthy. It's it's, in, it's allowing them the access to what they need to eat to make the eggs taste good. Yeah. And if we ramp that up, double the numbers, then yeah. suddenly we're going to be dealing with disease issues and then other health issues. And then it even hurts the land. More importantly, yeah. it'll start to hurt the soil. That's the whole point of biodynamics is you're, you're deriving all of your sustainability from the land itself. And I think it the is. difference between what we do that maybe another farm might do is that we really got into farming because of nutrition and just finding the mm -hmm. most nutrient-dense food really for ourselves. Yeah. And so every choice we're making is about what's going to be maximizing that nutrition. And I think we're both environmentalists at heart too. So it's about what's responding to the land to yeah. heal the land. And that ultimately is what's going to create the most nutritious food for the people as well.
the coupe uh, 2.0, we're at 5.0 now, right? This is our 2.0. You can see there's a slight slant to the thing. box, right? So that what happens is the chicken lays the egg on the other side of this wall and it rolls into this gutter. So then she can't access it oh and take a peck out of it. Right? Wow, and it's then, warm. Yeah, and you see, then we don't have to clean our eggs. And so there's this natural coating on there that keeps... Because you were cleaning your eggs. Yeah, well, we don't clean them. We, we, give, spot, we spot clean. clean. Yeah. But once you wash that coating off, then you end up with bacteria from the outside being able to get in and the freshness of the egg is sort of compromised. You know, with our eggs, you could keep them unrefrigerated for weeks, oh, uh, but we don't recommend it because you're, you know, we have to refrigerate them by law after 72 yes. hours. But with you this protective with it, you coating, wouldn't have to. when and we get them... And once you put it in the fridge, you want to just keep it in the yeah. fridge. But if we were to not put them in the fridge, they would last longer. There's, I mean, conventional, they even use things like bleach to clean these eggs. So they're destroying that coating, and then where does that yeah, chemical go? Yeah, egg, and that destroys gut health. Yes, exactly. I would imagine all need drinking to bleach yeah. in your egg would probably well, be the best. Well, so you know you guys have just created mass hysteria because everyone's going to be trying to get your eggs <laughs> at Air One. I'm not even, you know what I'm going to do? I'm not going to tell them when it comes. It's random. Yeah. Yeah. Random releases. Yes. And then I'll, I'll shoot out a, a message on, on Instagram. Oh, that's beautiful. Very beautiful.
It's so great yeah. to uh, have you out here. Again. Oh man, you know it makes my heart yeah. sing when I am here, and I've been here many times. Yeah. 